All right, finally back with another video. Um, so I'm gonna start the process of installing my custom cages uh, roll cage kit for my Evo 10. It's the R4 kit. Uh, I just wanted to do a step-by-step -step kind of video since when I was looking at cages, I mean, I built quite a few of them, um, but I really wanted to do something FIA. But anyway, when looking into them, there wasn't a ton of info, I had to do a lot of research, had to call them a bunch. Uh, being in Texas, uh, you know, I'd, I'd have to call them pretty early in the morning uh, to get an answer, most of the time answering machine, but uh, they were pretty quick on getting back to me with answers. So I just figured I'd, you know, take you guys along, maybe answer any questions you have, and I uh, hope you enjoy. So with the kit, uh, opening up the box, that's the first thing it says. Uh, here's the uh, certification form uh, for when you do the weld test. You know, kind of some cliff notes on welding in the cage. Uh, if you haven't welded a cage before, I suggest you have a pretty high skill set of welding. Otherwise, it's better just to pay somebody. It's going to turn out better. It's going to look a lot nicer. Um, so, just my two cents. Um, it's really nice. They give you a whole print list of everything um, that's in the, the pallet. Each one is labeled. Each one of the tubes has a uh, sticker and a label on it. And I just want to point out, uh, let's see here. Um, whoop, sorry. It weighs 57 kilograms, which it's pretty insane. Um, I think it comes out to like 125 pounds. Um, having built a lot of cages for cars like this 69 Charger and this uh, Porsche we have up here, along with plenty of other race cars, 120 pounds is super light for a roll cage. Um, so, but first things first, you know, in their instructions to get everything done, let me just set this down. First thing first is the weld test. And you have to do this test, you have to pass it. Uh, and definitely pass the test before you weld it in, because if you fail, then uh, your cage won't be certified. Uh, so, you know, nothing too extravagant. Just two coped welds. You know, kinda simple, follow along. Um, I see a lot of cages coming in looking like this. This is not what you want. Um, you know, even MIG welding with the T45 that it's made out of, you can see how deep the heat affected zone is. That TIG weld, they went a little crazy with how hot they got it, but um, penetration is always going to be better. You do have to be a little careful with getting it too hot, then it'll get brittle and it'll crack, and you won't pass the weld test. So, I guess there's nothing more to say but a time loop and show you guys how I weld this together. When you got a passion, been on for so long, and everything around you starts to go wrong. Gotta keep your head up, gotta move along. Get your mind up, boy, get strong. If it don't break us, it surely gonna make us. I look up and I'm thankful to my maker. Cause honestly, could have been worse. Can't put a prize on these lines, then not what words worth. Goes deep, deep into the earth. You so when you reap, you gotta do your best. Don't sleep, just put in work and keep your breath. What you're mainly looking for in the weld test is that you have no undercut, you know, everything's pretty even, you got plenty of filler all the way around, you know, nice transition, so we'll let it cool down, check everything over again, and start on the cake.